The GCC states also play a very key role in Iraq. And we discussed Iraq today, uh, where together we continue to assist the government of Iraq in degrading and defeating Daesh, as well as supporting a multi-sectarian government that takes an inclusive approach to this fight. One of the comments made in our joint communique refers to the need for the full measure of reforms to be implemented. I also like to comment to people that we're very proud that over the course of the last uh, several weeks, or month or so, 100,000 Sunni have returned to their homes in Tikrit, uh, something that only a few months ago seemed unimaginable. Our cooperation is a major reason that we've been able to see significant progress in halting Daesh's momentum and in some places reversing it. We also recognize that no amount of military force will, in the end, terminate Daesh's horrific violence if it is not also matched by a broader political and economic effort that addresses the underlying conditions that have allowed this group to gain traction. That includes addressing the dire humanitarian situation. Today, I'm pleased to announce the United States will contribute an additional $62 million in assistance to those Iraqis who are displaced and in need. With this new funding, the United States has now provided more than $475 million in humanitarian assistance to the region in the last year and a half. The policy of the United States with respect to Syria is clear. We believe that uh, Assad and the Assad regime long ago lost legitimacy, in part because of his regime's continued brutality against the Syrian people themselves. And that has been a magnet for foreign fighters, drawing them to Syria, fueling the rise of Daesh and other violent extremist groups. And since there is no military solution to Syria's challenges, there has to obviously be a political solution. We continue to support the moderate Syrian opposition, along with our GCC partners and other global coalition partners. And we will remain relentless in our mission to eliminate the safe haven that Daesh has found within Syria. The United States will stand by our GCC partners in condemning continued destabilizing activities, military activities of the Houthis, which have a very damaging impact on the peace and security of Yemen and the abilities of anybody to provide basic services to the Yemeni people. We call on the Libyan decision makers, all of them, to join in supporting a political agreement that will lead to the formation of a government of national authority.